Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Here's the bottom line up front. If you're trying to decide between should I get a twist on ND filter from Camera Butter or should I get the stick on uh, ND filters, the answer is if you have a GoPro Hero 9 or older, you can go with the stick on or the twist on. If you have the uh, Hero 10 and up, you need to get just the twist on, and I'm gonna explain why, and we're gonna talk about all kinds of other stuff. Also, the stick on is gonna be a little bit cheaper, and the twist on is gonna be more expensive. We're gonna get into more camera butter stuff, because I love camera butter. But first, a word from our sponsor for today's video, PCB Way. PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards, that's what PCB stands for, and they have thousands of components and circuit boards and all kinds of stuff to choose from. In fact, they even have a service where they will assemble all of your components on the board uh, in, in, in the design that you send to them and they can uh, make sure that it works and everything before they even send it to you. So that's really cool. And if you're not into making electronic stuff, they also offer rapid prototyping services like 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal bending and injection molding. So if you're working on a project and you don't have the resources and tools that you need to make it happen, check out PCB Way. I'll have a link to them down in the description below this video. A big thanks to Paul from Camera Butter for reaching out to me and sending me uh, some of these ND filters to show you guys. And in fact, what we're gonna do, he sent me so much, I'm gonna pass on some of it to you. Uh, one of these, let's see, this. I'm keeping this one, but you guys, somebody's gonna get one of these. This is a Camera Butter twist on filter pack. This is um, ND8, 16, and 32. This other one that he sent me is ND4, ND8, and ND16. And I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have uh, an ND4 twist on filter and I really want one. Just so we're all on the same page, an ND filter is a lens filter that goes over your camera lens and essentially it acts like a pair of sunglasses. And the reason why you want that is basically just to get a certain smooth video look. So if you don't really care about how your video looks that much, if you're not into the sort of videography side of things, then don't even worry about it really. Um, you could probably just get a clear lens protector uh, or get something like an ND4 and then just keep that on your GoPro all the time. Um, but that's not what this uh, video is about because if you're watching this, you probably already know that you need an ND filter. You're just trying to, to decide which ones to get. The twist on filters, we're looking at $20 and the stick on filters, $10. And then the new stick on filters, which is what I'm gonna show you, those are $11.99, so $12. So two more dollars for the new filters. And I have not personally tested the, these out just yet, but I think that's gonna be worth the you know, extra $2 price. Oh, and just so you know, Camera Butter does make a bunch of other uh, ND filters. They also make uh, DJI 03 uh, filters, which we're gonna be uh, taking a look at that in a different video, we'll talk about that. And some other kind of filters and stuff. So, and they've been around for a long time. I love Camera Butter. So that's what we're looking at. Basically, $20 for the twist on versus $10 for, or $12 for the new stick on. Okay, now here's the interesting thing. Opinion aside, what Paul told me uh, that I did not realize was that uh, GoPro changed the type of uh, lens coating that they put in their newer cameras after the Hero 10. So if you have a Hero 9, which is right here, uh, you can use the stick on filters and they will stick to the lens. Um, but if you have a 10 or newer, you're gonna need to use the twist ons because the newer uh, lenses, or I guess really this is like a lens protector, um, it uses a, a special coating that makes it not stick well. Now it's interesting, if I put these two cameras together, uh, we have the, the nine over here, the 10 over here, I'm sorry, 11 over here, uh, so newer on the right. And if I can, if I can show the reflection of these LEDs that I have lighting up this table, let me find them. Yeah, there we go. So do you see, if I could adjust the focus, but you can see there anyway, the LEDs, it's the same strip of LEDs, the ones that are reflecting in the newer GoPro are not as bright. Uh, while the ones in on the left 
the Hero 9, they are much brighter. And so I, that just kind of goes to show that there is a different coating on the newer lenses. Now, um, so, uh, the, so generally speaking, that's gonna be your hard fast rule. If you have a newer camera, you can't use the stick on filters. You have to use the twist on filters. Now, uh, one solution to that might be you get an older style of, uh, of uh, twist on filter and then you can stick on the, the stick on ND filters onto it. So aside from that, the twist ons are going to be easier to work with. It's gonna be less fiddly. You're gonna save time. Um, I don't know about you, but a lot of times when I fly, maybe I'm trying to catch a sunrise or a sunset and the sun doesn't care what time it is. It's not gonna wait for you. So if you're trying to fiddle with a little, a little stick on filter, here's a, here's a stick on ND filter. This is an old, uh, older version or the, the, the previous version, I guess. Uh, which I, I think they're still selling now. It's basically just a, a piece of glass uh, that's been coated and treated and it's super duper hard and all that stuff. And then it has a uh, sticky coating all the way around it. It's harder to not uh, touch the, the actual glass itself and you're trying to line it up and maybe your hands are cold or maybe, you know, whatever. And then if you drop this, you know, then it's, oh, it's going to go in the dirt and then, then you, and then it's not going to stick. So basically if you're doing, if you want speed and kind of more precision, if you're doing this for professional purposes and you want less of a hassle, personally, I would say go with the twist on filters. Let me show you how that works. So the twist on filters, you kind of, you have to kind of pull away from the GoPro uh, and twist at the same time and then rotate it 90 degrees and then it twists off. You see those metal bars? Those, those are what lock under these, these little tabs right here. That's how that works. So that's the original filter. And then we can take our, take our camera butter filter. You see the you see the metal bars okay we're gonna put those on the top and the bottom I'm gonna press it into place press and twist and that's gonna get locked under there and click in place and now we have our new filter the camera is having a hard time focusing on this stuff but there's our new filter looks great doesn't it I love that it is labeled like that CB4 for uh, ND4, but it's camera butter for. And I really like how these have these little indentations and these uh, and the serrations on the on the top sides. <clears throat> really love that. Uh, it makes it really easy to grip and twist the filter. Big, 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 big time improvement. Um, and then you know you could actually stick on the stick on filters on here. And I say that, but I'm not actually 100% sure about these, these new twist on filters. I'm not sure if the coating is the same. So I'm gonna test that out right now actually, and just press on the edges of the glass, but just on the edges and will it stick or is it gonna come off? Oh, uh, it'll stick, but not very well. Okay, so there must be kind of an anti-stick uh, coating on these as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because they're newer, because I know I've had ones previously that, that worked like that. So that's, okay, that's not really an option. We tested that out. So I would say if you really smash up your lenses a lot and you do a lot of freestyle and you're, you're, just, you know, you're just crashing all the time, um, probably wouldn't be a good investment to do the twist on. It would probably be better to get an older style of filter uh, that you can put the stick on uh, filters on and then just you know swap those out if you uh, if you crash and actually that brings up another point is one of the downsides of the stick on is the possibility of it flying off of the drone uh, off of the camera if your drone crashes um, if you get a good stick like if it's like if you freshly clean your lens and you get a fresh rubber sticky uh, ND filter, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, but if you've been swapping them back and forth, um, then it is more likely. And I've had these kind of like, you know, flip up sometimes and actually like flip up for a second and then come back down. That's kind of funny. So what I'll do a lot of times is I'll have like my older stick on filters and those are just kind of for fun flying. Maybe they have scratches on them and stuff, but I don't really care because I'm not really trying to get like a super great quality image. Um, but I do want it to, you know, be an ND filter. Um, so I'll, I'll stick those on there. 
Another advantage to the stick-on filters is that a lot of times they will take the brunt of the impact. So if your lens was going to get smashed, it might just be this outside filter that gets smashed. I've had that happen. Let's go through how do we put on a camera butter stick-on filter. Let's use this one, ND16. Sure, why not? So we're going to open it up. Uh, we've got these wipes. Inside the wipes is the actual filter itself. Okay, we're going to grab that just by the edges, and we're actually going to set that aside for now. Um, and I was very, very pleased to see that the new ones also include an additional sticky uh, sticky rim thing. I, I can't think of what this is called, but the thing that actually sticks the lens onto your camera. That's fantastic because these can get, you know, they can get messed up or, you, you know, you drop them in the dust and then they're done for. Um, and you can clean them off, but you know you might not have a sink wherever you're flying, so you might not be able to wash them off and get them clean. So having a backup uh, ready to go is fantastic. All right, so we have these wipes, so we're gonna do our wet wipe first on this lens. And just open this up. To be honest with you, I almost never do this, um, but I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to do it, especially for the first time, you know the lens so clean and then we're gonna wipe it with the dry wipe that's kinda cool wipe the lens down make sure it's nice and clean okay to be honest there are still scratches in here because this lens is so old but it's as clean as she's gonna get and then we can take our filter here okay we're gonna take off this little backing plastic piece we're gonna peel that off and we're just gonna be careful that it only uh, or that it just peels off and it doesn't peel off the the sticky pad with it. I like to keep those to to put back on there after I'm done using it later. And then we're just going to center it up and stick it right there on that rectangle and just do our best to get it in the center. Kind of move it as needed. And then we'll get we can get our dry wipe, let's say. Maybe spread that out, and then we can press on the edges, on the edges of the glass, not uh, not the center, because that could break it, is what the instructions say. Haven't actually tested that out. We can get our we can get our wet wipe again, wipe that down, make sure that's cleaned off, get any fingerprints off of there. Look at that. And it sticks on, and it's you know very it sticks out very minimally, so I like it. I think it's good. And you can see there's that teeny tiny, teeny tiny aluminum rim around it. So I'm reading from the email that Paul sent me some notes about new products. Uh, the Black Diamond stick-on filters are much stronger than the original version, so people break them less often. Indicate in some way which uh, some way the ND value that they are, so people don't get it mixed up. It stops light from entering the edges and make them easier to clean on the backside. The old version was only coated on the outside because the adhesive wouldn't stick to the coating. But the new version, the adhesive sticks to the frame so he could bo coat both sides. That's pretty cool. And uh, he says he improved the optics as well and it's now more neutral. So that is a big deal. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you use these ND filters a lot, you will realize how big of a deal it is to just be able to look at it and go, oh, okay, ND16, cool. I mean, it's super duper tiny, but ND16, great. And we don't have to kind of guess and be like, oh, wait, which one was that? Or, or, you know, hold them up to the light and see how dark they are. And just to show you, the uh, the the twist-on filters are now available uh, in several different options. Uh, you can do two different multi-packs and then uh, different three-packs and then also singles as well. Or you can get a master pack. So uh, you can get a, let's see, like an ND4816. You know, Those are going to be uh, $50. Uh, Let's see, three packs, so three for fifty dollars. Um, a single is going to be twenty dollars, and then the master pack is going to be eighty dollars. And remember, I'm going to be giving this pack away right here. And what you're going to get is a multi-pack ND8, 
16, and 32 for uh, your Hero 9, 10, 11, or 12. That's a twist on kit right there. You get three of them. Super cool. That's what, I guess that's like $50 um, if you were going to buy that. And so all you have to do is leave a comment in this video uh, indicating that you would like to be entered in the giveaway. This giveaway is only in the United States, so sorry folks, but it's just in the good old US of A. It just makes shipping and everything way simpler for me so I can actually make these things happen. So stay tuned for another video where I announce the winner, and that is going to be in, say, two weeks. I'm going to give you guys two weeks to get in here, watch this video, leave a comment. After that two weeks time, um, then it's the, the contest is going to be closed and be looking out for that new video. And of course, check the description down below in case I missed anything else and for important deadlines and dates and all that kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you love camera butter, let me know. Big thanks again to Paul for sending this to me. Let me know your recommendations on what kind of filters you like. Put them down in the comments for other people who might want to uh, learn about that stuff as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon. We get bars in our goggles.